Uncle Kenny's gonna start the car. It's gonna be loud. Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of DJ's Hot Rod and Fab. We are at a Hoopty Cross race in Glenwood, Washington. Uh, it was supposed to be a snow race turned into a mud race. So um, check out this footage, I hope you enjoy it. Um, we had a blast, the car did pretty great, it had a couple issues, but check it out. out here today if there ever twas one. So the track got so messed up on the first day that uh, they had to make a change to the track and then they pretty much scrapped most of the track because Kenny was the only one to make it around after lunch. It was. Now folks, once again, let me remind you, it's my duty to let you know there is another Ford Mustang on the track. He will eventually he will. get around to the line to start the race, I think, and we're hoping, since no one's standing there, he'll manage to make it without murder. This would be a nervous time to be in a porta potty, to be helpless, waiting. You can hear the thundering echo as you're trying to finish your business, knowing that there's a Ford Mustang on the property. Are you guys going head on head on the track? I think we're seeing it already. Will you put this in your pocket? Yeah. Yeah, he, uh, he, I mean, his first race he wanted to get beat, so. Oh, is that really going on? Oh, I'm sights. I excite. He's going to race bogs, are you? Yeah. Fuck yeah. This I mean, Piper doesn't even have a blade yeah. on it. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Down past the, past the blade. <laughs> we were, we were not anticipating mud, apparently. We were and not prepared. Yeah, we, we are always prepared, aren't we? <laughs> Never. Oh. Uh, Oh, we've got a real matchup. We've already seen our first pass as David Brandon Hubbard. Boggs in the oh, yes. Corvette and David Hubbard David highlighting Hubbard. Mr. Feeney today. Yeah, Mr. Take Feeney, Feeney, Feeney is a family car. Ah, oh, yes. Getting passed around. 
Getting his tires heated up before they line up for the race. A little different lineup strategy here this time. We've typically seen the drivers square up on opposite sides of the track, but it appears though Mr. Feeney wanted to get a little test and tune in before his lap. I'll allow it. Oh, it doesn't take direction well. Either way, that was exciting. Just the warming up the tires. Get the heat in those tires. You can get the grip shin when you hit that first corner. That's right. I wonder if he knows that the race hasn't started yet. I'm not entirely sure he understands the format. He does not understand, he does the, not format. understand the format the whatsoever. Inside. We seem to be having a bit of a communication issue here with the uh, number 38, Mr. Feeney. Maybe he's thinking he's on the warm-up oval, with it, which is just adjacent to us. At this point, he's going to have to take the notorious half lap of shame to get back to his starting position. But when we ask him what happened, he's going to say something like, I sent it, bud. I sent it, bud. And indeed, it clearly has been sent and will be sent again. It appears as though he did get the message. He has come to a full and complete stop, and we are ready to get this race started, folks. The fastest two-lap time we've had today so far in the one-lap race bracket racing we're doing. He's a rebel, that David Hubbard, and he's got that windshield wiper working hard today to keep the visibility up. Getting a stern talking to from whoever that person is that's out there jogging back and forth on the racetrack. And we're off! Big rooster tails from both of them. They struggle for Gription off the line. A little bit slower than when he was just lining up to start the race. It's finding some neutrals. It's possible that Mr. Feeney is... Yes, there it is. Yes, and he's off. It is important, folks, to find a drive gear as you are going forward. The vet claw carrying a lot of speed across the start finish line and coming into the corner a little less aggressively than we saw yesterday as he has now kept it moving. I had a chance to talk to him when I was drunk in the Winnebago about that tarp setup, and he said it's loose on, on purpose. Well, if it works, why change it, right? He's clearly won this race. Mr. Feeney sliding across the start finish line. Still Hoping to spray the announcers with roost, but finding only a neutral and disappointment. As once again he spins out. Oh, disappointing day for fan favorite Mr. Feeney out there. <laughs> Everyone within 100 yards is now pregnant. <laughs> once again, it's my duty to warn you, the Mustang is moving, sort of. We've yet to see anybody get lapped out here today, folks, and I can't think it's going to do anything for that serial killer's feelings about himself if he gets passed now. If we can get the flag oh. and put that blue and yellow flag up, let him know that there's lap traffic. Oh, my. We've had a... Oh, we're seeing a lot of skill out there, folks. That was close. Passing on the now outside. He has passed him on the outside, taking the very aggressive control. line. Is it going to pay off for him, folks? I don't know. I just took a dirt pod to the head. <laughs> and we were worried about the Ford Mustang. <laughs> really get a feel for this course, folks. You're seeing a lot more comfort, a lot more aggression, and a lot more sideways. I'm waiting to see the Jupe match up against Wilkins and that British Motor Works SUV and I'll let the fireworks go. Yeah, we haven't had a conflict like that since the French and British fought several wars that the French lost. Got it all in the commentary they were saying about you oh, was cracking yeah. me up. I had no idea where it was going. Oh, no. The lap, the extra lap was hilarious. <laughs> I'm just yeah. like, okay, we're going. So what did you, what did you, what was, was, do was the link in a one lap race? <laughs> yes. Was it the linkage in the, when you didn't Got get off? My money's worth. You no, didn't the get linkage off? was bad. I couldn't get into second. Yeah. And then the battery came disconnected when oh, I crashed, no. when I spit out. Yeah, watch out, that's buddy. Don't get on the car. It's all muddy. All muddy. What are you doing? Daddy's racing. Stand out fan yesterday. favorite from yesterday. Good Eddie! Good Eddie! Yeah! 
David got it just by a hair though. blast out there um, it was funny I really didn't know what I was doing when I first got out on the track I had just kind of like rolled out and hopped in the car and started driving it for the first time and no one gave me any direction when I went out on the track so but it didn't matter it was all for fun I was trying to get that thing as sideways as I could thank you guys for watching we'll catch you on the next one